What's going on guys? Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com. Phil Coutinho is still cutting holes in the back of his boots. Like a lot of people, I thought he was doing this because he was having issues with blisters. But now, after a lot of thought and a little bit of research, I think I know the real reason. Now the first time that I made a video on this topic, I came to the conclusion that he was doing this because he had blisters on his heel. You guys may remember this particular picture. It's a really good detailed look at the giant square cutout that Coutinho had in the back of his Nike Mercurial Vapor 11s. Now I assumed that he must have had some kind of heel blisters that obviously hurt a lot because what irritates a blister? Pressure and obviously with tight fitting shoes, especially a Mercurial Vapor 11, that's going to be severely irritated and if the blisters are fresh enough, getting rid of that pressure is going to make for a much more comfortable experience, which is why I thought he cut out the back of the heel. However, that was several months ago. Why is he still doing it? Surely he doesn't have the same blisters still. They would have healed by now. So what is the reason? Now, Coutinho obviously recently made a transfer to Barcelona. If you follow Barcelona on Instagram, specifically watching their Instagram stories, they've been posting little clips of the players' boots in the locker room before the match. And we've gotten a lot of different clips of Coutinho's boots, not while he's wearing them, just while they're sitting on the floor. But within those clips, we can actually see that he's still cutting a hole in the back of the heel. Although, it's not as big as what we saw when he did it the first time. It's a much smaller hole, more so targeted towards the slightly outside area of the heel, rather than directly in the middle. So what's the reason for doing this still? He doesn't have blisters, he has Haglund's deformity. Now, if you're like me, you've probably never heard of Haglund's deformity. Well, as the name would suggest, it is an actual deformity, specifically of the heel bone. Now, a normal heel bone, as you can see by the picture on screen, is more so rounded and smooth across the back. Your Achilles tendon runs along the back of that. You have some soft tissue and some other bits, obviously a very sensitive area, but if it's completely smooth, what ends up happening is the pressure, even when you're wearing tighter shoes, tends to be fairly evenly distributed. Can you have strain at the back there and cause irritation? Absolutely, but for the most part, you're not gonna have any giant bumps. That's what Haglund's deformity is. Basically, the heel bone, instead of being perfectly smooth, has a little bit that kind of bumps out, and that little bump allows for more pressure at that specific point at the back of your Achilles tendon area. And when you're wearing rigid, tight-fitting shoes, which soccer cleats fall under that description, whether you're talking about the Vapor 11 or any type of soccer cleat, I don't think that this is specifically Nike's fault or the fault of the Vapor 11. I think if he could have solved this by switching into different shoes, he probably would have done this by now. But what ends up happening is upon that excessive pressure on that point, because of the little bump in the bone, what you get is this swelling of what's called the bursa, which is a piece that sits in between the bone and the Achilles tendon. It fills up with the fluid and you end up with this bump on the back of your heel. And that bump, as you can imagine, because it's inflamed, is very, very sensitive and hurts a lot when pressure is applied. So in order to alleviate that pressure, he's cutting a hole exactly where the bump is so there's nothing pressing against it. From what I understand and what I've read, as long as there's no pressure on it, it's unlikely to really affect you in any way at all. So no pressure, no pain. Now let me say that we don't know for sure whether or not Coutinho does actually have Haglund's deformity. We're assuming this, but as far as I know, it's not public information. Now this might seem a little bit weird, but here are a couple pictures that I found on Coutinho's Instagram where he's not wearing any shoes at all. Here's a picture of the bottom of his feet. Here's a picture of the front of his feet, but unfortunately there are no clear pictures of the back of his heels. So we can't check for any large bumps, which would be the major giveaway here. However, the fact that he is only cutting out the heel on the right boot and not the left boot, I think helps to prove this theory a little bit because what causes this injury or what causes this deformity to inflame in the first place? It's strain. And what's gonna be more strenuous than just wearing uh, tight fitting footwear or running in general? Shooting the ball, that's going to be the most strenuous thing on your heel when it comes to soccer cleats. And obviously he's right footed, that's his stronger foot. That's where he's gonna be taking the vast majority of his shots, both in practice as well as in games. So it makes sense that his stronger foot would probably have more severe bumps than his weaker foot. It's entirely possible that his weaker foot doesn't actually have any kind of inflammation or any major 
major bumps whatsoever. So that's why he's cutting a hole in the right boot and not in the left boot. Just to give you guys an example that I'm sure we can all relate to, we've all gotten a brand new pair of cleats, immediately gone to the park before breaking them in, and tried to take 100, 150 free kicks, and you end up leaving that session with a blister on your striking foot at the heel, but not on your weaker foot. That's because the strain that shooting the ball puts on your heel is much more significant than when you're not shooting the ball at all. Now, if you're wondering about whether or not there's a cure to this particular injury, it's a deformity of the bone. So as long as that little bump out in the bone exists, this particular area of your heel is going to inflame, the bump's gonna get bigger, when it's irritated, it's going to hurt. From what I understand, if you let it rest, if you let the inflammation go down, for the most part, it's not going to be unbearably painful or potentially not even painful at all. But over time, as it does get irritated, it will start to swell again. So it's more or less something, based on what I understand, that is more of a management thing rather than something that's going to be detrimental every single time that you have to wear a pair of shoes on your feet. However, there is also a surgical repair that they can do, but I didn't really read too much into that in terms of how that might affect your athletic abilities. Anytime you're doing any kind of surgery around the Achilles tendon, generally that's not good for your ability to run and jump and just move in general, uh, for especially for a professional athlete. So maybe Coutinho might get this fixed down the road if this is in fact the issue that he has, but I think the fact that he's cutting out the holes now in the back of his cleats tells me that he's managing this injury with as much care as he possibly can. Why hasn't Nike sorted out Coutinho with a special pair of boots that isn't going to irritate this issue for him? That I don't really know. I'm not sure what the limitations might be in terms of the construction of the heel area with changing up the shape of that internal plastic piece, which is really what's going to be causing the pressure. I'm sure they could create something for him that didn't have the plastic, but the reason why the plastic is there is not so much for lockdown, it's more so for containment of the heel, so it's not sliding from side to side. If you didn't have any structure back there, the shoes would be extremely unstable. He wouldn't have the pressure, but he'd probably roll his ankle upon a quick cut or a quick change of direction. So. I don't know if there's anything that Nike could really do in terms of making him something custom. Maybe they're working on something right now, but as of now, it looks like they've basically told him just cut out a hole where you need to cut a hole and deal with it as it is for now. Also, for those that are wondering, cutting out the heel on a pair of soccer cleats is much harder than it looks, or at least you need proper tools for it. You can see on this particular Mercurial Victory, you have the outside upper material, you have the plastic, which is the blue, which is gonna be that structure for the heel, then you have some foam, and then on top of that, you have the internal heel liner. So I would think for the most part, this type of construction process is what you're gonna find for the vast majority of soccer cleats. I would think this is pretty standard. Anyways, guys, that is it for my theory on why Coutinho is cutting a hole in the back of his cleats. I think Hagelin's deformity is the most logical explanation, but let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to support it with a like. As always, if you have any questions, leave that down below in the comment section, and I'll do my best to get an answer out to you as soon as I possibly can. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on on all the latest and greatest soccer gear. You can find all my social media information linked down below in the description as well. Other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching.